In the first episode of America's Neighborhood, we discussed the origin of the word Potomac, tracing it back to Native Americans and maps drawn up by Captain John Smith in the 1600s. Today, we look back a half billion years to investigate the geological formation of the lands known as the Palisades, along with the DC area's Asian development, modern changes like the Potomac River, and new features like Great Falls. It's all a part of the latest chapter in the history of the DC Palisades. The story of America's neighborhood. Washington DC has long been a place where two opposing sides knock against each other, changing the landscape. But a little more than half a billion years ago, it wasn't the opposing forces of conservatives and liberals. It was the future continents of North America and Africa on a collision course in areas that would become Pangaea. At this point, there were no palisades perched above the Potomac River, or even a Potomac River for that matter. In fact, much of the lands we tread today had yet to rise from the world's oceans. But little by little, things were about to change. Before becoming one huge landmass of Pangaea, these future continents were shifting on their own, independent tectonic plates, which these days move about one to two inches per year, basically the speed at which fingernails grow. So with this slow acceleration, you would expect the force of the continental collision between North America and Africa to be small until you include the other variable from Newton's second law of motion, mass. These slow moving plates were hauling some serious mass, literally continents worth. So this was a major collision in Earth history and it look, think of the size of these two continental land masses colliding. Uh, that the Appalachian Mountains, uh, which are heavily eroded, you know, over 300 million years of time, uh, once stood much higher than they do today. To set the scene for this crash, we have to go back hundreds of millions of years and travel below the equator to where our neighborhood was at the time. If this sounds shockingly south to you, it's nothing compared to the then location of the eastern parts of DC. Say that your office was downtown in Mount Vernon Square, Farragut North, or Capitol Hill you might need to build some more time into your commute. That's because those areas of the district, along with the decent part of the East Coast, were very close to the South Pole at that time and nowhere near the rest of North America. Now, instead of going back in time, if you put things in forward motion a few inches per year, you can see how plate tectonics is enough to change DC and the world. The convection of these plates into each other is what made the Palisades and launched the Appalachian Mountains some 10,000 feet into the air, making them comparable in heights of ranges like the Alps and the Himalayas. The force from this continental crash was also rough enough to eject most of DC in that large wedge of America that was being pushed by the future continents of Africa and South America to join these older regions of the Palisades and Rock Creek Park. These late arriving lands to the east had to traverse thousands of miles to become part of the district, as well as much of the east coast from New Jersey down through Alabama. When you look at the map of the Washington DC area, it's extraordinarily colorful given a very complicated history. The DC area still shows the signs from this elongated crash. Its pushes, rips, and pulls have left kind of a scar tissue on the Earth's crust where we live. Some of its resulting provinces and land formations include the Appalachian Plateau, Valley and Ridge Province, and the Great Valley section. But of the three that are nearby, the Blue Ridge Province is the oldest, with parts of it forming some 1.1 billion years ago, predating the supercontinents of Rodinia and Pangaea. The Piedmont province, where we live as Palisadians, was next up locally, with two spans of construction, when Rodinia broke up between 700 and 550 million years ago, and later around 500 to 450 million years ago. These elevated lands of the Piedmont province stretch from the Palisades, parts of Rock Creek Park, and Tenleytown to the basins at the foot of the Blue Ridge. Finally, during the last 100 million years, you have the coastal plain which runs from DuPont Circle, Pentworth, and Fort Totten, all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. So the exposures that have been referred to as the Palisades are areas of very, very old rock. Uh, the Sykesville Formation uh, was laid down almost uh, half a billion years ago, and they're now preserved at the surface. It was this long collision between the future continents of North America and Africa that made the Palisades, which are among the oldest lands in Washington, D.C. The word Palisades means a line of steep cliffs 
especially along waterways like a river or an ocean. The original name of our neighborhood, the Palisades of the Potomac, represents a half billion year span of the Earth's history within its short 28 characters. While the lands of the Palisades may be ancient, approximately 500 million years old, scientists say the waters of the Potomac and the features that they have carved are quite new. Much of the shaping of our area occurred during the last ice age, which began about 1.5 million years ago. But an important part of the story has to do with the Potomac River. The Potomac River is a very recent story, uh, dates back about three and a half million years ago, uh, where drainages from what now represents the District of Columbia and four other states, part of Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, and Maryland, were draining water, riverway systems, uh, down through this channel that was making its way through fault crevices and fissures, eventually eroding through that area, widening to a full river channel. The Earth's crust in this region was lifted, and changes in sea level caused the Potomac and other rivers to engrave, etch, and carve their courses into the scenery as sea levels fell during the last ice age. While the Potomac is just 3.5 million years old, some of its most noticeable landmarks are vastly younger still. Mather Gorge and Great Falls were formed only during the last 30,000 years. Locally, they are the most recent decorations from physics and mother nature to a landscape that has continued to evolve over many millennia, eons, and eras. Thank you for watching, and please join us for another episode. Until then, remember to go out and make some meaningful memories today, or a richer history tomorrow.